heartbeat of our beloved party, the movement for democratic change, Sangirai, MTCT. This day, the 21st of January, the year of our Lord, 2022, I announce that the movement for, dem for democratic change, Sangirai, has split and there are now two MTCT formations. One led by yours truly, Dr. Tobozani Kupe. An announcement of an already embattled opposition party splitting. Expected nonetheless. Her former ally Douglas Monzora had announced a day earlier of Cooper's suspension from the party which she was vice president. She says she is now reclaiming what she believes is her rightful position. Monzora is an illegitimate president who is a product of a rigged extraordinary congress which did not form a quorum in terms of Article 6.2.7, if an extraordinary congress does not form a quorum, an extraordinary congress must be called by the National Council within six months of the date of the incorrect congress. This means that this extraordinary congress was supposed to be held not later than 27 June 2021. Therefore, he was an illegitimate president. He is an illegitimate president who has no power to preside over any party processes. MDCT had been struggling to pull numbers and garner confidence in supporters these last few years. They've battled to control the opposition benches since the split from the original organization formed by Morgan Trangarai. The focus is not the past. The focus is the future. The main faction is now being led by Nelson Chamisa under MDC Alliance. Political analysts have described the latest developments as near career suicide. This is uh, egoistic politics uh, between Monzora and Madam Kupe. We all know they worked together very well in previous capacities. Firstly, one being the, the vice president of the party, the other being the secretary general. Um, then in the post Morgan Trangrai era, you, you have these uh, people fighting in one corner when they, they were actually wrestling the party, the name, the assets uh, from the Nelson Chamisa led uh, MDC formation. So this is all about power. Uh, and this kind of confusion is something that SANPF desperately needs at the moment uh, for validation of its own narrative and uh, for authenticating uh, the claims that it's not always the case that whenever there is confusion, factionalism uh, in the opposition, uh, there is a ZANPF end. This is egoistic politics that is at play. With the country's by-elections just two months away, Rosero warns that this will only result in alienating voters further. He says the split is likely to further weaken the opposition's efforts to unseat ZANU-PF. For now, the balance of forces in terms of resources are tilted in favor of uh, the Douglas Monzora camp. Uh, so there is not going to be further ravages unless behind the scenes there are certain people who will be funding these. Uh, people who always sway. Zimbabwean politics, uh, we sway like migratory beds. We go where resources are. Uh, so at the end of the day, it's not much about uh, support, uh, but about resources. But now the biggest issue here is that... Uh, Madam Kupe is uh, a forceful player in as much as the regional, the tribal political dynamics in Zimbabwe are concerned. Because somewhere, somehow, you also need the matabelelent factor in terms of your political posture, your political outlook. And absolutely, the matabelelent, the people from Blawai or the people from matabelelent will always sympathize with the air because at the end of the day, they stand to lose everything based on that tribal cut. As confusion reigns supreme in the opposition camp, Zimbabwe now awaits to see who among the three MDC formations holds the real political sway. Nama Bolani, SABC News.